Hello. This is uh, day 31 of Lenor March, the last day where we're looking at the Grand Tableau Part 2, or the big one, Part 2. Uh, these are my cards as they were laid out yesterday. Um, I have had a sort of little look at them. Um, and because we're going to be looking at this in maybe a little bit more depth, um, I just want to point out the fact that I didn't... I didn't throw these cards with any question in mind, not even any specific time period. So, uh, you know, they're, as far as I'm concerned, they're fairly random. That said, I can see some interesting patterns in them. Um, and I'm just going to discuss a little bit about how I read. Well, before I get into that, let me just revisit, because l yesterday I was just looking at my significator and the cards around it, and I said something to the effect of, you know, facetiously, oh, I'm going to get some cut flowers from a friend, possibly from overseas, you know, so some, something imported in tulips from Amsterdam, shall we say. Um, and if I were to read that with perhaps a little bit more seriousness, I would perhaps think that, um, that I'm going to have to, the flowers as an invitation, that I'm going to have to cut or break an invitation with a friend because I'm going to be away traveling. Um, and it's me that's traveling, not the friend that's traveling, because the travel card is next to me. So she's not going to be breaking our date. <laughs> I'm going to be breaking our date. Something like that. Um, right. Getting on to it, um, I do sometimes look at the first three or four cards. That's to see if there's any sort of message in those. Um, and in fact, I do actually see one. Um, significators. Now, here's an interesting thing. The bear is often, the well, the mother for some people. Some people see it as a masculine card. Some people see it as a feminine card. For me, it's a feminine card, so that would be the mother. But, having said that, my mother, if and when she shows up in a, uh, a spread, and she, she has passed away, by the way, would be the flowers. She just always comes up as the flowers. Bear for me now is my stepmother, um, and I have a stepfather, which is a little bit confusing because my mother remarried after my father died, and then when my mother died, my stepfather remarried. So there you go. So I see this as, in this instance, as my stepmother, and we'll call her B, which happens to be the initial for, for Bear as well. And she has some confusion about a decision she has to make, but she's going to reach a decision. Now that's how I saw that yesterday. I have since had further information from her and I know that yes in fact she has reached a decision and it involves spending some money. Um, they were planning to come to Europe for a holiday and visit us but of course with all the trouble on the continent at the moment and they were flying into Amsterdam they were having serious doubts about whether or not they actually wanted to make this trip. Um, but she has since decided that, they're, well, as things stand at the moment, they're going to make this trip. So, so yes, she is spending more money because they had to pay the second half of the deposit on the, the holiday cottage we'll be sharing when they come. So, and that had to be done by today. And an interesting thing is if I then follow the line down from having reached this, you know, sort of illuminated stance, she, the re how I know that this has been done is because she sent an email to the woman whose cottage it is. Um, and some people will say, oh, stars is the internet, you know, or things electrical and stuff like that. I, I don't favor that, you know, so like that would be emails, but, but I think that's an interesting juxtaposition. I've got those two cards together. So yeah, that, that's an email, but it's going to be a short term choice or decision because it's still complicated and they may yet, you know, get cold feet and decide not to come. So, so there was a little message there. Um, a lot of people read the four cards at the bottom, they call it a fate line or what have you. Again, I will have a look at it, but very often I find it doesn't make a great deal of sense. That's just probably my inability to read the cards. But here again, this was kind of interesting. With a bit of looking at it, I kind of thought, well, actually, what we have is like sort of like difficulties at the border regarding security while traveling. <laughs> okay, you know, you can read into it what you like sometimes. And as I said, there was no question, so I'm really just kind of, you know, just playing with the cards. Um, 
I don't read the corners. I've never found that particularly useful thing to do, but I will show you something else that I do in a minute when I come back to that. If I then look at the other usual significators, for work for me is the anchor card. If I look at that line, again, I don't, you know, obviously there's some there's some difficulty, confusion caused by something that's wrong or appears to be wrong at work. Um, and then heart as the last card, I kind of see that as sort of, you know, it'll be okay, you know, like, like I'm going to get blamed for some cock up at work, but, um, you know, my, my conscience is clear, you know, I'll be, I'll be fine. It's not really an issue. And one of the things I do do is I mirror. So if I'm not sure what a card is actually driving at, I will mirror it to see what it says. And the mirror for that card, ignoring the four at the bottom, the mirror for that card is that one over there, which is Lily, which is purity. So pure of heart, I've got nothing to worry about, not to do with me. So I'm in the clear on that one. Um, I do, to some extent, look at proximity, what cards are close. Um, a big one always is how close are the cards to uh, the clouds to you? Um, and they're nice and far away, so I'm not worried about that. I've got no big issues there. Um, but the tree is a little bit close, which could be health. So looking at this line in terms of health, I mean, it's not like right next to me, like, ah, serious health issues, but something about my health. And looking at this line, the only thing I could make out of it was that sort of the activity aspect of whip was blocked with regards to my health. Um, and rider is again, um, exercise and activity, um, and the only thing I could make of that was that <laughs> I didn't get to go to yoga this week because it was Easter and the, the church hall where we meet was obviously not going to be available. They kind of had other things they wanted to use it for. Um, but again, I looked at that and I thought, well, what really? Um, you know, what what's actually blocking it? But it's interesting that um, if I had to look at a card here that said Easter to me, again, it would be the lilies. And I was thinking, oh yeah, Easter's arrival has messed up is the blockage as to why I can't go and get my exercise this week. And maybe this card is telling me I should just go out for a walk instead. Um, this is um, human or animal powered travel in my book. So that would be horse riding, riding an animal, or camel riding, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, bicycle, walking, that kind of thing. Whereas the ship would be motorized travel. So cars, planes, boats, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, what else did I look at? Something else that I thought was interesting. Uh, dee -da, dee -da, dee -da. There was something else that jumped out at me, and I can't think what it is. Isn't that funny? I've gone completely blank. Oh, <laughs> and you're all going, oh, we've heard that before. Um, oh yeah, another, another thing I noticed, um, was... Yes, if, as of yesterday, if I, if I hadn't known what sort of you know, eureka moment she was going to have. Yes, they're going to come. No, they're not going to come. I could have looked at that card, which is, you know, the, the final the final decision there, to see what mirrored it. And it mirrored me. And based on that, I would have said, she's going to make a decision to come, you know, to, to see me or, you know, to make me happy. Bless them. So, yeah, I'm sure there was a lot more I wanted to say. Uh, but, you know, this could go on and on for ages. As I said, I don't do houses, I don't do the corners. Oh, and you'll notice that I don't sort of like read all the cards around a significator. Uh, that s the square of nine or three by three, they, they just don't do it for me. I tend to read columns more than anything else, and sometimes the two cards either side of a card. Um, but, but it's it's very flexible for me, very flexible. But as I said, I like a grand tableau. I'd be quite happy to throw one, even for a question that doesn't actually require one. Um, you know, uh, well, I'm not going to even try and think of an example because I can't do it right now. But let's say I needed, you know, some, something to do with a friend or loyalty or something like that, and I needed to know something about it. Okay, well, then I've got the cards around it. But if that then makes me think, oh, well, then what about... Uh, the work situation with regard to that, I've got cards. I've got cards ready laid, so I can then jump over to the work aspect of whatever has been revealed over here, or the uh, the money aspect, or what have you, without having to, you know, sort of gather everything together again, sh shuffle it, throw more cards out. It's all there. I can see relationships 
at a glance. So I, I like them. I think they're a really good spread. Um, I use this a lot with playing cards. And because I you can only go, what, 52 cards? No, because I only read 32 cards. So it would basically be that. Um, and I find that works really well. So, yeah. I think that's it. I'm going to shut up now. Yay! Thank you very much, Kelly, Truth and Story. Um, this has been really good and really um, cathartic, I think, for me to just kind of get it out there that... I read the way I read. I'm not advocating it. I think everybody should just take what works for them, what, you know, floats their boat and, and runs with it because because that, that's the way to go. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody else's. Um, and, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.